What makes me a Scot is a hard question to answer. Being a Scot is so many things. It's being responsible, respectful, and a learner. But there's so much more to being a Scot than just traits. To be more specific, I have been a Scot since I was four, and all I have heard was the word honor. When I was little, I never understood what honor meant until I was in the first grade. The whole meaning of St. Andrews is to be honorable, and that's why we have the honor code. The honor code is meant to be followed in school, but also out of school. Now, St. Andrews doesn't just have the honor code. It also has an honor pin. The honor pin is a symbol of becoming a Scot. The honor pin represents everything about being a Scot, personality traits, uniform, and most importantly, the honor code. When you receive an honor pin, it's a happy, sweet moment of becoming a Scot. You're pledging your honesty and integrity towards the school and towards yourself. You're becoming a better version of yourself. Yes, honor is a big thing at St. Andrews. However, being a Scot is more than just having honor. When wearing your uniform, you feel this confidence and pride. You're happy to be a St. Andrews Scot. When wearing your uniform, you set an example for St. Andrews. Not only that, but you're a Scot. Be proud, don't walk with your head down. You have amazing educational opportunities that some people don't have. Walking in your uniform is a feeling of pleasure being able to be a Scot at St. Andrews School. Being able to walk in your uniform proud is amazing, but what personality traits define a Scot? There are so many, I can't name them all. However, being at St. Andrews since I was four, I have learned that three of the most important traits are honor, kindness, and academic integrity. Being honorable is probably the most important thing. People are able to trust you and rely on you. They know you won't lie, and being someone that others can trust is priceless. I imagine when you don't lie, things don't pile up on you. You are an honest person that people can go to. Not only is honor an amazing trait, but kindness is too. Kindness is when people don't fear you. Instead, they can go up to you whenever they need help. People feel comfortable with you and know that you are a great person to be around. Not only that, but you're showing compassion to your friends and even strangers. Being sensitive to others' feelings and caring about someone even if they're not your friend. Not only taking care of others around you, but taking care of yourself. While honor and kindness are amazing traits that define a Scott, having academic integrity is also a significant part. Academic integrity is not cheating. It's about being honest and telling the truth, even if no one's watching. It's important that you don't cheat. You'll never get ahead in life if you do. It's also about being an example, being a Scot. Now, we all make mistakes, it's human, but it's about what you do with that mistake. It's about following the honor code, having an honor pin, wearing your uniform with pride, and being honorable, kind, and having academic integrity. All these wonderful traits, uniforms, honor pins, and the honor code make you you, a Scot. There are a lot of symbols and qualities that make you a Scot. The 10 IB Learner Profile qualities, for example. Some of those qualities have to do with learning, others achievements and honors. There are also qualities that have to do with who you are as a person. I personally think that every Scot possesses at least three qualities from the 10 IB Learner Profile list, and I'm sure many possess even more. All I know for sure is that though I strive to be all 10 IB Learner Profile qualities of a Scot, I personally think three qualities stand out the most and are leading to me. I believe these three qualities are being principled, being a risk taker, and being a thinker. As a principled person, I show not only honor but respect to the school and the people in this community. To be more specific and relatable to learning, I don't cheat, I turn my assignments in on time, and I put hard work into my assignments. Now while all of this is very important, it is also important that at the same time I follow the honor code. Relating to being principled in our community, I do what I am told by my teachers and I admit to my mistakes, as well as being respectful to the staff and teachers. To continue, when talking about being a risk taker, I feel I'm a risk taker because I push myself to and above my limits. I always work my hardest and I never go the easy way out and I always challenge myself. Lastly, I'm a thinker because I'm a very creative and outside the box thinker. I have an imaginative mind and I not only do my work but think about it more than I have to to try to gain deeper understanding. Last but not least, I'm a thinker because I take the time to think before I do something and check to make sure I'm doing the right thing. This relates to learning too. In conclusion, I will continue to push myself to live up to these qualities, not lose them. I will push myself to exemplify more Ivy Learner profile qualities. Lastly, I would just like to say that I am so thankful and happy to be a Scot.